What's up, you guys? Forrest here with the FOCO Flow Show. If you're new to the channel, we are a mountain bike channel focused on the awesome riding in the state of Virginia, focused in central Virginia and everything west into the mountains. But we ride everywhere from North Carolina, Tennessee, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, and everything in between Maryland and the Northern Virginia area. We love riding awesome trails, but also reviewing gear and content so that we all know what's the best stuff out there to make the most out of our mountain biking ride. On this week's episode, we're looking at the Vittoria Mazza tire. So it's an enduro tire, but with some trail casing that we're gonna put on the Ritmo V2. We're gonna go with a 2.6 on the front and a 2.4 on the rear and give you an idea what I like and what I don't like. Figure out if it's a better alternative to the same old Maxxis that we ride on our mountain bikes all the time. So I decided to get into the video and see what we think. So if you're enjoying the content, make sure that you like and subscribe and share the channel with all of your mountain bike buddies so that we all have a little bit more information around the great riding we have in the region and so we can all get out there together and find that flow. So as you know by now, I've been riding Maxxis tires for pretty much all of the bikes that I've had on the channel, the original Ritmo as well as the Ritmo V2, but I haven't loved everything about Maxxis tires and I was absolutely looking for something new. A couple years ago, tried the Michelin Wild Enduros and they were okay, some pros and cons to that. Did a review on the channel, but was really looking to get something different on the V2 and then had heard a lot about Vittoria tires. I've seen some other riders that ride them and most notably folks like Jeff Lenowski who runs some Vittoria tires. And what really tipped me off on them is when I saw Project Northeast, a new, uh, another mountain bike YouTube channel, love the content, check them out. Did a brand new Trek Slash build and put a 2.6 Mazza on the front and a 2.4 on the rear. Reached out to them and they provided some great feedback and I figured it was worth the try. So in this video, we'll give you some likes and some dislikes, as well as some uh, detailed specs and some final thoughts. So without further ado, let's hop into it. things that I like about the tires is they're super grippy, right? You see big wide lugs on the outside as well as a channel of two lugs in the middle. This does great for cornering, especially when you can lean into the bike and press into that front fork and let those knobs bite in. And it also really, really helps in braking, right? It feels a whole lot like an Asagai, but the key is less rolling resistance than the Asagai, especially on the rear. When I had the Asagai on the front and the back of the V2, it felt like a slug going up the trail. Most recently, I have been running that Asagai in the front with a dissector on the rear, 2.5, 2.4. For this, we put the 2.6 Mazza on the front with a 2.4 Mazza on the rear. And I would say that that's got a touch more rolling resistance than maybe the dissector, but you get great stability and control on the trail with that chain. So definitely high points for me on the trail for all of its braking capabilities as well as its handling capabilities. Another thing that I like is they are good looking tires. You'll notice that they've got the gray sidewalls instead of the normal black. And I'm not quite ready to go full tan sidewalls like you see in some of the other tires out there, but the gray kind of matches with the Ritmo, gives it a little bit of flair. And anything that makes you look a little bit better, I believe is gonna make you ride a little bit faster and maybe push out a few extra watts. So as far as I'm concerned, high points for the look of the tires as well as that 2.6 profile out front, the 2.4 in the rear. Again, when we're talking about weight, they're pretty modest for trail casing enduro tires, right? That's what these are. They're the trail casing. You see that the 2.4 comes in right around 950 grams, and then the 2.6 was right over uh, 1,000, closer to 1,100 grams, but not quite. You're gonna see those Maxxis tires, depending upon their casings, in that range or even higher. So they aren't particularly heavy. I run Cush Core in the rear, which gives me plenty of durability. And from where I've taken these tires so far, the George Washington National Forest, the Southern Traverse, Narrowback, Blue Ridge School here in Charlottesville, I've had no issues with durability so far. 
some of my Maxxis tires, I've had them fail in the same areas within having them on the bike for a couple of weeks. Now that could happen to any tire on any bike, so it's hard for me to say that these are infinitely better durability wise, but I've got quite a few miles on them so far and I've been really, really happy. Another thing that I liked about these tires is that they mounted up really, really easy. I've had a little bit of experience with Cushcore installs at this point. I was able to set the tires out, spray down the rims, and then get them mounted up without any ease or any problem. I've had a ton of trouble depending upon which tire, especially those double down casings on the Maxxis uh, tires that I've run before. These aren't double down comparable. Again, these are that trail casing. So that's part of the reason they were easier, but they mounted easy, they stayed true. There's no wobble, there's no bend. And I know we all are familiar with that weird wobble you get on some Maxxis tires if you mount them too aggressively and then you actually end up bending the casing a little bit. So a lot of things to like about the Vittoria Mazas, but here's one or two things that I didn't love about them. The first thing is they really do resemble that DHF tread pattern, which means you've got two channels on the left or the right that if you're cornering the right way, they're gonna grip in and hold the line. There's a little bit of dead area, a little bit of float, where if you're kind of not weighting the bike correctly or you're just leaning a little bit and you get into that kind of dead zone between the middle knobs and the left knob, the side knobs, you're gonna feel a little bit of float. You might even lose a little bit of control. I'm being extremely picky here. Most riders won't notice that. I'm not good to notice it most of the time, but it was something that I had read about and was looking for, and I would say I definitely feel that a little bit. The only other thing I didn't really love about the tires is kind of the width options. There's 2.6s and 2.4s and maybe a 2.35, depending upon what you're looking for. I know it's probably not cost effective for bike uh, tire manufacturers to make every width available. If I had my way, probably would have gone with a 2.5 in the front and maybe the 2.4 that I went with in the rear. So I'd like to see a few more uh, tread options as well as a few more width options that give you the ability to customize the bike tire that you're looking for for the type of riding you want to do. So time will tell long term what the final verdict is on these tires. Overall, I think I do wish there was just a little bit less rolling resistance on the rear tire. And that means I might opt for one of the different Vittoria tires that are out there. They've got the new down country tire that they just came out with and a more um, XC tire. I'm not sure I'm gonna go that route, but if these end up being a little bit more resistance than I'm really looking for, there are a couple of options to go for. Overall, the grip is fantastic. The cornering ability is wonderful. Great uh, braking capabilities, they look great. And of course, price point is pretty darn competitive, if not better than what's out there. So I can definitely say so far, a couple months on these tires that I strongly recommend them. I definitely think they're a good alternative to Maxxis and some of the other ones out there. And of course, I know there's other tires out there that are out that I haven't tried that maybe you have. Would love to hear from you in the comments below. What other tires are you running? What are the other price points that you're running them at? Let me know, comment below, let us all know what's out there because what we wanna do with this channel always is to give you the options so we can all get out there together and find that flow.